Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a collab notebook, and I have lifted some code from CS61A class, which is right here. And I have, uh, I went ahead and did a wget, and then I processed it, make sure that the text is functional. It's right over here in the files. You can see code snippets, files, etc. And <clears throat> it's already, I've already run it, so I won't run it again. Let's scroll down. So where is, what, <clears throat> what are we looking at here? So this is, opens the Shakespeare.txt, which is right there. And then text equals shakes.read, and then split it. And when we run it, you'll see that print, there are this many thou, 4,501. There are this many you, 12,361. That strikes me as extraordinary. And that's all well and good. So looking around on the web, I found a, another instance of how to handle this uh, from Isayeb Sikorel over at Code Mentor. And I'll include all of these links, including this notebook in the description. And what he did was create a hash map of the same text. And what it does, it creates a tokenizer. And when we search for the word the 2,689 times, life, situations, since, day, thou, and happy. And you'll see here, curiously, there's 183 happies, but in this there's 201, and I don't know why. That's very strange. And now uh, let's get into Keras, which is uh, a very important tool in the AI and uh, machine learning tool set. So in this case, I, I created a, I took the same Shakespeare file, and then I added these terms at the front. And so those words then get tokenized and counted in <clears throat> for the top 10 right here. These are the first 10 words that get tokenized. And let's see right there. So Thanks for watching and happy computing.